So Rainmaker has a bunch of cool randomization settings that you can either trigger using the encoder, you can randomize everything if you want, uh, you can also assign the trigger here to randomize your Rainmaker settings, but Rainmaker will not r randomize any selected parameters. So I'm just sending the guitar tone preset from Plonk, and I'm using Shifty to alternate between triggering Plonk and the Rainmaker. And if we're regularly triggering Rainmaker, you can see it's randomizing everything, but if we go in and choose our clock division, that will stay fixed. Or if we choose the grid, and we can edit that parameter while everything else is being randomized. Uh, where this is really useful is if you select the tap edit parameters while they're in edit mode, you can zero them out and edit them all together. As a group, you can also edit them in that slope mode. So for example, if you don't want pitch shifting to occur, you can zero that out, and everything will be randomized except for pitch shifting. Same thing with your filter cue. And of course, you can constrain what's being randomized in the random menu. So you can just have it randomize all the taps, but exclude pitch shifting. So you can kind of think of your selected parameter as the eye in the hurricane while there's all this chaos going around it, it's staying the same, or you can do some interesting sweeps. So I gotta give thanks to Warp Smasher for pointing this out on the Muff Wiggler forum and putting out a YouTube video to demonstrate this. It's, a, it's definitely a fun technique. And it's worth mentioning that you can also assign controls to the mod destinations and modulate them while they're being randomized. You'll notice that the clock source is not randomized in the comb section. <laughs> 